can I help with your business permits in the Philippines? The answer to that is no. Um, first thing is things are regional. Um, where I am in Manila, etc. I have all the connections, etc. But when I go to Manila, I don't know anybody in Manila. Um, it's not my place, and I know there's a lot of corruption issues everywhere. In Makati, for example, there's a fire extinguisher scam where they're telling people to change all the fire extinguishers every year. Fire extinguisher doesn't need to be changed um, every 10 years, it needs refurbishment at 10 years. Even then, it can come back once it's been refurbished. So, what, why is it getting changed every year? Purely for money. The same as the Korean businessman with a computer store. Why is the uh, customs officials hassling him? His business is 100% because they want a bribe. It's as simple as that. It's too complicated. You need to have the local knowledge in those each in each area. Now, can I deal with all the problems? The answer is yes. I can find people. I can connect with people. It's not a problem. But I can't just do it on the fly. Um, it's not as straightforward as that. Um, now, can you get all your other paperwork in order? The answer is yes. But you don't need me to do it. The person you want is a lawyer or an accountant or both, because there's a whole process here if you get full foul of employment law it can be a nightmare don't take my word for it you need somebody that knows employment law because that's where you're going to have your risks more than anything else when somebody decides to take you to a tribunal of some description you've got to understand what they're doing because the employee employment laws, laws are quite funny in the Philippines I mean, I've read, there's been a few expats end up in jail because of stupid things that they've been accused of so from that point of view I recommend get a good lawyer look at an accountant learn about the business you're looking at doing um, can you operate it there's a long list of businesses you can't operate in the Philippines the call center business is something I know a lot about and I'll cover that in the next video